no lame nigga. She need a thug nigga. Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contract! You're so fucked! Die! Die! Get out of there! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Give it up! Come on! Nowhere to go! Sorry, lady. Okay, well, come on then. Got yourself into quite a pickle, haven't you, little lady? So, I'm assuming hospital, right? 
No! No hospitals! Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Cholo Springs Avenue. Sandy Shores. <laughs> it's your lucky day. We're virtually neighbors. I assume you've heard of Trevor Phillips Enterprises? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, hmm. No point introducing you to my friends in the mountains, the state you're in. What? Which friends? Wow, well, it's just an aging organization in desperate need of some young blood. <laughs> Another time. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back then? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to hospital or the cops flee the scene of a dead body. I reckon I deserve some deets here, girlfriend. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Oh, come on. I love hearing about criminal bloopers. It makes me feel so much better about myself. So you're in the game? You know, it really pains me when people refer to my lifestyle choices as a game. It really undermines all my hard work. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It's supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20K each. I was the driver. And not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half a San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Hmm. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? This is it. Listen. I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime, you let me know. I was close.
the gun. Okay, you got it, Kate. Fire! Oh! Next one goes between the eyes. Two eleven on a Insurance details. Miss me. There you are, Trevor. Oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. That's a good distance there. Go on, put him down. <laughs> Burned up half the meat, but I'll take it. Where are you going? There's still elk in there. You got something better to do all of a sudden? All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. 
Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him, pull the trigger. Down! Body shots ain't the cleanest, but a kill's a kill. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Try that whistle again. Not the flatheads. Now lay him in the shade. Me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady.
Give another honk on that diaphragm. No females, Trevor, don't do it. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. I've shown you all I can show you. Gotta try it by... Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. <laughs> 